Yo, what's up guys, Kanushi Sun2 here, and today in this video, I'm gonna go over uh, the whole Evolving Sky set, kind of go over, um, you know, my thoughts, uh, get my first impressions of these cards, how they're gonna play into uh, Standard and Expanded. Um, and this this uh, article is by Poke, Poke Guardian. I'll put a link in the description below. But before we get into this video, if you guys are looking to buy some Pokemon codes, make sure you guys head to buy ptcgeocodes.com use my code keldio for five percent off your purchase on the website they got the new evolving skies packs get them up before they drop um in the game um link will be down in, in the description below so yeah this is this is actually a really nice article uh you know it does everything in english um these are all the promos though uh, i'm literally just gonna scroll through every single card <laughs> you know uh, I don't want to. I don't want to miss anything coming out in the new set. So this is probably going to be a really long video. Um, so of course, Flaffy, <coughs> Flaff. Everyone's been talking about Flaffy. Once during your turn, you may attach Lightning Energy from the discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So this is good. This is pretty good, man. I mean, um, I, I don't even know what to say, man. Just like more energy, like it's going to make Lightning decks really good. You know, Tapu Koko V Max. Um, I don't, I don't, does anyone play Inferos anymore? I don't know. Of course, Bolton is there, is still there, but yeah, just, just one extra energy each turn is so good. I mean, this is basically like, kind of like a dark patch, you know, just for lightning Pokemon though. And then it's, and then you can use this each turn. Insanely good. Um, and I, I'm not sure. I think if you could put, I think you can do this multiple times. You know, if you get two Flaffies down, it's only a stage one. It's not even a stage two. This is only a stage one Pokemon, dude. You have to, you only have to evolve it one, one, one time. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, Clarion Articuno, though. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll go in the reviewing when I get down the cards. But uh, these are basically the promos. Um, don't even know why this is a promo, dude. Pretty cool looking card, though. Um, of course, we got the, we got the initial, you know, original EV evolutions right there. Dragonite V. Uh, of course, the Zacian. Um, Zassian v Union Union card. I already went over this in a, in a previous video, but Professor Burnett, search your deck for up to two cards and discard them. Yeah, right. This is this is going to be the card um, used for you know the the Vini Nunes. I, I have no idea actually if this is actually just a promo or, or if it's in the set as well, or if that's like the only way you can get Professor. Uh, what was it, Burnett? Burnett. Yeah. So I I mean. Yeah, I assume this is the only way you can actually get this um, supporter. So I guess it will, it will come in this code um, in like the collection box. I'm, I'm not I'm not 100 sure, but okay. Going into the bulk of the set, um, I'll save all like the secret rares for last. So, grass Pokemon Pinsir damage from the single prize uh, Pokemon's attack isn't affected by resistance. Not that great. Uh, Hop it. Okay, this this line is actually really interesting. So Hop it. You know, you play this guy on your first turn. Next turn, you can evolve it into Skip Bloom, and then when you attach an energy into the your, or when you attach an energy from the hand from your hand to to the Skip Bloom, um, you basically evolve into Jump Bluff. So you're you're basically just skipping a turn and uh, just evolving. Um, you know, you can have, it's it's basically it's basically like using a rare candy, but um, you could just you know Skip Bloom instead. Uh, you do have to attach the energy though that's how it works and then you can jump bluff and this pokemon is is basically like a metacham or whatever like ancient trait uh, metacham had and expand so it can attack twice each turn uh which is which is the same thing right and then you know if it, of course if you're not going to pull one then they have to choose another one and then 60 damage uh that's good damage that is really good damage i mean metacham was what like 30 40 <laughs> but 60 you could do this twice for doing you know 120 120 damage for one energy i mean that's not too bad man i mean it really isn't too bad i mean there's probably like ways you can increase the damage i have no idea maybe in certain but it's it's not terrible you know it could be it could be seen someplace it's it it's a rapid strike poke one so maybe there's like other you know trainers that could help support this but it's not too bad man um, we got C dots, Tropius, nothing insane. Leafy on V is pretty interesting. So you can search your deck once per turn. You search your deck for an energy card, grass, and attach to one of your Pokemon. Uh, then your turn ends though. 
which is disappointing. <laughs> imagine imagine if, if, if you turned in and this card would be OP. Um, probably will still be played. You know, on, on, you know, just put out on your first turn, maybe like one more energy. Um, not, not, nothing interesting in that attack though, but Leafy on V Max. So Grass Knot, 60 damage um, for each colorist in your opponent, opponent's active retreat cost. Um, that's actually good for two energy. Uh, and it's basically just like, I mean, you can get two energy in, in one turn, you know, with just uh, attaching energy and then plus doing this. Uh, like on your first turn and then evolving next turn, a leafy on V max, you, you got the energy, you just need to worry about retreat cost. <coughs> Which there is a state in that uh, your, your active Pokemon can have two more retreat costs. So basically, let's just say they have like, um, you know, one one retreat cost. Um, then that's that's three in total with that stadium. Um, that's 180 damage. 180 damage for two energy on your first turn. And then plus, you can use like Absols if they're playing like basics. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. And then they could have like more, you know, v Maxes tend to have more. I mean, some have no retreat costs, but like th this could be played, man. Maybe maybe expanded. This could be the new Milotic V. I have no idea. Because like Milotic did like 50. It did like 10 plus 50. This does 60 uh, per, so that's not too bad. And then uh, 170 heal 30. Could be, could be, could be good. May not be. Who knows? Uh, we got Trevenant V. Not nothing interesting about Trevenant V. V Max though. Uh, it does 40 damage for each supporter in your opponent's discard pile. Um, only 40 damage though. I mean. Even even if they have like five, you're you're doing 200 damage, which I mean I guess it's two hitting V maxes. It could be good. I mean you know, Marnie's bosses, Junipers, and, and standard. I mean maybe it could be good. It's it's just kind of risky though, because there's like nothing else you can do. You just gotta you just kind of gotta hope that they discard supports. You, you really can't like make them do do that. Um. We got Eldegoss. Okay, so once you're in your turn, you can search your deck for two basic energy cards and then put them in your hand. So I feel like this could go really well with the uh, Milotic Cherim deck. Uh, you know, <coughs> Milotic Cherim. Uh, you know, Cherim does all like the attaching uh, each turn, and then basically with Eldegoss, you just find in. And it, it's not even like you have, you have like this ability is only when you evolve it. It's each turn. Each turn you can search for two basic energy guaranteed. This this is get definitely a really good addition to that uh you know Cherim um um uh like Maractus deck um really good ability for that oh, I got Applin Flare and V Max um so discard the top five cards of your deck it does actually actually I'll talk about Flare first um okay so twenty damage I mean. Search your deck for fire energy attached. It's it's not good. it's not too bad, you know, if you're just setting up a little bit, but it's kind of slow. Uh, but flare MV max. Uh, discard the top five cards of your deck. This does hundred damage for each energy you discard. Um, I mean, there's thing there's things in expanded that would help you, I think. But in standard, there's you know Oranguru. So basically, you switch an energy from your hand. So that that's 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 a, that's pretty much a guaranteed hundred damage for three energy. Uh, there's no welders, you know gonna be in standard uh so you, you kind of got it's another chance thing you kind of gotta get lucky i don't really think there's anything else you could do you just gotta kind of get a hope you know play a lot of energy in your deck would be your best bet uh we got ente 10 damage for each damage counter on your all your bench single strike poke one that could actually uh be interesting you know if you're if you have like a like a, a v max with uh you know like a single strike or Shifu with like 300 damage counters. This would do 300 damage. I mean, that's kind of troll. Probably won't be good though. Um, nothing insane. Volcarona V. Stack does 20 more damage for each basic energy card in, in your discard pile. Um, it just isn't that good. And then you shuffle them in your deck. So you really can't do this like turn after turn. So nothing, nothing too great about Volcarona. Uh, that's, that's, wait, did I just, wait, what? Oh, I just went back, okay. That was weird. Psyduck. Gyarados V. Uh, 
Oh wow, if you need three energy, this is this is basically like oh I'm, well not, not really like outraged, but three energy to do this. Yeah, that was really bad. I mean, you know, max damage counter is two ten. I guess you could do like four twenty, but not not that great. You need three energy. Gyarados V Max. Again, not good. It's it, n nothing special about three hundred thirty health, four retreat cost. You need a bunch of energy, so you need your uh, you know uh. Uh, what what's it called? Frost moths for this deck. Um, <laughs> Vaporeon V Max. I'll go for Vaporeon. So triple draw three cards. I mean, not terrible. You know, if you're going second. Um, but uh, you put you put a water Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench and then attach three energy cards to that Pokemon. That now that is interesting. Uh, could be could it be played and expanded? Maybe. I mean, any water, that's basically like Archie's, but instead of drawing five, you know, shuffling like five cards or whatever, you do, you attach three energy cards. So, I mean, like it, it doesn't even have to be stage two, any Pokemon and attach three energy cards, but you do don't, you do no damage though. Um, but I mean, maybe there, there's probably like a lot of possibilities though. I mean, maybe, I mean, probably not like, I don't know what you can make it work with. Probably not anything like. Ice Rider Calyrex, that probably wouldn't work. Uh, it'd be ha it'd have to be like a stage two to like do this. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't seem to play. Who knows? Uh, nothing interesting about that. Got Suicune V. Um, so once you're in turn, if it's an active spot, you can draw a card. I mean, not that good. And then uh, that that ability's not good. There right, we got Low Tide. He plays Pokemon. Oh yeah, I, I, I did hear about this. <laughs> when you evolve it during your turn, you can use this ability, but only when you evolve it and your basic Pokemon attacks do 100 more damage. Um, I feel like that is uh, very situational. It's a stage two, but you could rare candy. You don't even have to. I don't think you have to evolve it straight from a Lombre. You could rare candy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Who knows? Who, who freaking knows, man? So whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of the card done to your in your hand. So, so it's only you in your hand, not your Pokemon. I think what this does is it prevents um, things like Marnie and anything like that. Um, yeah, anything like that. Maybe like discarding energy from your hand. Maybe I'm not too sure. Kind of interesting is Rapid Strike Pokemon. You do have to evolve into it though. Um, wait, what was that? Okay, not good. Okay, we got Glassy Glacian. I said Glacian. God damn it. <laughs> Surge deck for a card. Um, yeah, no, nothing really interesting about that. Um, okay, so prevent all damage um, from your opponent's V maxes, except Gla Glacian. But I mean, that's that's basically the same thing as um, um, Zamazenta's ability. Uh, Three hundred ten HP. But um, not a good attack. It's just not a good attack. 150 damage, three energy. It's yeah. <laughs> if this guy had a better attack, I could maybe I could, like it's it's dude. This this new this dude this new uh meta, sword and shield on is gonna be V max meta. Yeah, there's probably not. It's it's gonna be all V maxes. So I mean maybe just for the sheer amount of V maxes there's gonna be, it could be played. Who knows. But I feel like, I mean, Zamazenta could... I mean, Zamazenta doesn't even have a good attack either. I mean, like, it, you know, good ability, but not a good attack. Yeah, it kind of balances itself out. Um, Cryagonal. Not, not, nothing really playable. Three more energy attacks, it gets 150 more HP. That's, that's kind of funny on a, on a 30 HP Pokemon. And then just 30 more damage for each basic energy attached to it i right, that, that'd be pretty true if you like uh if you like uh you know just um frost moth on this guy could that could that, that could that actually be safe you need a, you need a ton of energy though that's the thing you you would need a ton of energy to make sure it worked you know five energy is still only like 150 damage basic pokemon interesting that is interesting kind of Arctofish, there's a lot of these in the set, man. 
Um, so if the defending Pokemon is V or GX, it can't attack. Uh, only 80, 80 damage, 3 energy. I mean, they're switches. It's it's not that great. Of course, we got a Pikachu. 50 damage to each Pokemon, Vs and, v and GX. Um, that's kind of interesting. Interesting. You know, if you do Telescopic Sight as well, only, only one energy. That's only one energy, actually. That's actually not bad at all. Because, like I said, there's just going to be so many... G oh, wait, why'd they do GXs, though? I mean, I guess I guess there's going to be, like, a short period of time where Evolving Skies is going to be paired with GX. But, like, in, in this video, I'm going to be mostly talking about, like, when everything rotates. You know, Sword and Shield on, but... Yeah, very interesting. So, Jolteon... <laughs> um, nothing insane. Nothing insane. Does that free retreat? Oh, it does. Yeah, I was about to say like a lot of Jolteons have free retreat, <laughs> so it does. Have, it does actually have free retreat. It's not too bad. Um, it's attack though. One hundred damage for two energy, and then one hundred one hundred damage to one your opponents have added damage counters on it. That I mean that's easy with with like six goons. Um, but it's only a hundred damage. It's only 100 damage. It is the free retreat is nice on this guy, but yeah, only 100 damage, not in anything insane. Of course, we got the Flaffy OP, Ampharos. Yeah, no one's gonna be playing, playing this guy. Got Dragazolt V. Um, so doing your only third damage, one energy. Energy cards can't be attached. Bring your opponent's hand to the de defending Pokemon. I think that means the the the, the defending active Pokemon. Um, not that good. Only three hundred thirty damage. Um, yeah, not not a good attack either. In this guy, V Max, sixty damage, one energy. If it's knocked down, put twelve damage. Okay, so that's that's basically like um, Stunfisk. It's basically like Stunfisk. I think it's like the same attack actually. For one energy, I think Stunfisk does two. So that, I mean that that's you know you could like maybe Spark Trap and then uh, Max. I don't know. Uh, it's not that great though. All right, psychic Pokemon. Whoa, whoa! If Pokemon attack Pokemon specifies special condition, this does ninety more damage. Oh, it's only one twenty though. Only one. I mean, one twenty for one energy, you know. But uh, you do have to. Not that great. All right, so Articuno. So when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you can attach two psychic energy to this Pokemon. So, I mean. I mean, that's like really helping Shadow Cowrex, um, you know, its attack, you know, just easy to energy, you know, Fog Crystals are really, are, you know, ready, available. Um, I could definitely see this uh, being played, maybe an expanded, you know, just for, just for two free energy. I mean, it's basically like, it's only on the Articuno, so it's not going to be like, it's going to be like any uh, attack that does like whatever so damage for each energy attack to all your Pokemon. You're never going to attack on this guy, but it could be useful for that. We got Espeon, 60 damage, uh, not that great. VMAX, prevent all effects on your... Wait, what? Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponents. Oh, effects of attacks. Okay, so that would be that'd be things like... For example, like Malmar VMAX, like they discard stuff from your hand. That would you know, that'd be an effect of attack. Anything like that. <laughs> um, I mean, not that great. That, that's the same thing as like... Um, Corviknight's ability, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, for 60 damage for each energy attached, all your points. Yeah, yeah. That, that. Espeon V Max, not good. I don't think so. Not that, that. You know, they may have like no energy. You know, they may be playing like Bad Party. That wouldn't be good. If it was your Pokemon, you know, 60 damage per. I mean, that that's way better than Shadow, Shadow Catrix though. Uh, Wobbuffet. Uh, base basically, basically, you know. Just a, just a just your average Wobbuffet attack right there, switching damage counters. Uh, Sableye, uh, not too great. Le uh, one ten damage for one energy. Again, I mean not not insane. Golurk V. Um, okay, so you basically de evolve, but you need four energy, and then you you just put it back in their hand. Like, like, what's the point of that? If you just put it back, like, discarding would be pretty, pretty cool, like on a V Max. But you just put it back in their in their hand. Not that great. Oh wow! You may move one energy from one of your po Pokemon 
to one of your rapid strike Pokemon. So I'm, I, I've never actually seen this card, but I'm not sure what that entails. <laughs> Does that mean it, it has to be like a non rapid strike Pokemon to like a rapid strike Pokemon or like any Pokemon to rapid strike? And then like, I don't, I don't even know as often as you like. So that energy can only go on a rapid strike. I think from any other Pokemon. So you basically just pull your energy together and put on Rapid Strike Pokemon. So I'm not sure what decks that would fit into, but that I mean, you know, for a Rapid Strike deck, that doesn't seem like it would be too bad, actually, of an ability. But it it is a stage two. That's that's the pain of it. All right, Sylveon, Rip Fairy type. Um, so what's your? It's it's kind of like the Leafeon, right? Search your deck for an item card, any item card, put it in your hand. But your turn does end. And, you know, uh, you know, I mean, the, the Leafeon put, like, on your bench, you know, it stays on your bench, but, like, Marnies, <laughs> Marnies are everywhere in standard. You know, so, I mean, you, you, I mean, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess, but Sylveon Max, Touch Energy. Okay, isn't that, like, the same thing as Staunch Warner? I think so. And then 30 more damage for each different type of Pope on your bench. Not that good. Uh, th you know, what if, what if you did like a, a, an expand, like a trip or like, I guess you could do in standard as well, like a triple and then like, uh, well, you know, there, there's like, uh, there's like a, there's like a deck where there's like a bunch of different, like a Pokemon. I, I was playing, I was playing a, a, against a, a guy from my stream that had, had a deck, uh, that had like a bunch of bench Pokemon, a Zork and like a Flareon or like a bunch of different types for like doing different types of weaknesses. Maybe that would fit into that deck. It is a VMAX, so I don't know. Who knows? Pump Goose. Discard a Stadium. Play this Pokemon. Wow. You may disc... Whoa. I, 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 this is my first time seeing this card. <laughs> so basically, it's it's a Marshadow. It's basically like a Marshadow. Marshadow reprinted. I mean, that it, that's really good with all the path, path to the Peaks. That is actually really good, you know... It, it, yeah, for for you know, just quick ball, get rid of a path to the peak, and then deny away. Or no, you can't deny. Just crow about away. That is really good, man. I, this could actually be played like a you know one in like every deck or something. I have no idea. Uh, I wonder. I don't know. I, I've like never heard of it. Um, you know, before I, I just saw it today, but that could be really good. Um, nothing too insane on that guy. Two Rapid Strike cards, put them in your hand. Okay. Fang Pokemon is knocked out during your next turn. Take one more prize card. Huh. Only a basic Rapid Strike Pokemon. So basically 10... I mean, but they could just, you know, retreat. I, I think if they retreat, then they, it, it, would, it wouldn't be, a you know, in effect anymore. Take one more prize card, though. I mean, I guess it gives you, like, time to set up. I don't know. It probably isn't too great. Uh, okay, so Zapdos, same thing for fighting energy. I don't think there's like anything that, you know, even in Expand that does like collective like fighting energy damage. I don't think so. So probably not too good. Medicham B. Uh, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. If they're knocked out by this attack, take another. Oh, yeah, I did see actually this attack. Take another turn after this one. So. I, I, I was actually thinking of like Dust Nor and Expanded. Um, you know, switching damage counters, you could easily do this, you know, put two damage counters and then you can just one hit them and then you, you basically attack next turn and then you can do whatever, like smash uppercut, uppercut, whatever. Um, only 100 damage. I, I was thinking about this idea, probably wouldn't work though. At like two damage counters, that's not a lot. I mean, it'd be pretty funny against like Mad Party. I, like what if you played like Inteleon as well, you know, two, uh, you know, more damage counters each turn as well. That'd be pretty funny, but against like VMAXs in standard, this would not work out at all. We got Lycanroc V, nothing insane about that. VMAX, knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon play that has 60 HP or less. Okay, another interesting attack. <coughs> Could have some expanded potential. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, again, like, Dust Nor, you can, like, switch damage counters, and then, you know, until you have, like, 60 HP less, then they're knocked out, like, a VMAX with one energy gets knocked out. 
again, like uh, that has a lot of potential actually. And then, I mean, that's basically just one shotting a mad party like easily. Um, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, max edge. I mean, I guess that I guess you get max edge and like hunting class. I don't know. I don't know. 320 health, not too bad. Moltres, same thing. This is actually really good though. I mean, for like dark box, um, pretty much it expanded. I think there's actually like dark right prism start that does like the exact same thing. Uh, who knows? Maybe maybe it, it will be good in standard. Just I mean. I, yeah, there's still gonna be dark. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. There's not gonna be dark cry in um and no, no. Greninja and Bribe. <laughs> I don't play Sitter, man. But like, uh, I keep forgetting these names of, the, of these cards. But like Greninja and Mimic. Bro, what? A, Greninja and Zorark. Greninja and Zorark. So that's gonna be rotated. So that that won't really help with that. Umbreon V. Mean Luck. Um, nothing insane. V Max. So when you play this, when you play from your hand to evolve in your Pokemon, so it, it's basically a, a built-in boss, um, a built-in boss. So you don't even have to have your active. Um, you could have like this guy right on the bench, and it's pretty much an, an easy boss. Um, so like you probably won't want, you probably wouldn't want to attack on this guy. You could just have like another dude attacking. But yeah, like, yeah, it's you have to evolve into it. I don't know. Single strike Pokemon. Who knows, man. Right, I'm not even like I'm like almost halfway done, man. Jesus Christ. Um, Garbodor V. There's, dude. I feel like there's a ton of these in the set. I, I don't even know. Are you pulling active Pokemon? Suppose nothing insane about that. V Max. Okay, so they have up. Why, why does it have to specify? Uh, you know the if it loses the ability. That's kind of weird. I mean. I feel like I feel like like there, there, there's like there's like um like tool drop there's um uh sigalith and expanded like it, it's kind of weird that there's like that they're like just flat out saying that it has I feel like that's obvious but okay but they have two Pokemon tools I mean I don't really know if that's any good probably not and then and attack 120 damage they're poison and they can't retreat uh, three i don't know it's probably not good probably not good all right so zork though <coughs> we got zork so once during your turn you can choose to stage one pokemon um from your discard pile and then you just switch it uh and then like all wait discard okay so you discard all pokemon attached cards so that means like damage counters wouldn't wouldn't stay on you could have like a fresh dude um yeah so i mean once yeah so you could just put in any other stage one i don't even i don't even know if, it, if this is good though i mean i, I yeah i mean it, it's act, no it actually because you could choose any it's better than like just you know evolving into like one dude you can choose any so you'd have to maybe it's going to expand but like state like what a good stage one pokemon like i know there's like it's it's kind of like orbital where you have like a bunch you, you know where you have like a bunch of like stage twos uh but this is stage one so I have no idea. I have no idea. Probably won't be getting standard. Okay, so yeah, this was this this card is basically this, you know another like Marsh Shadow reprint basically. So, but you have to play it into your you know from your hand to evolve your Pokemon, and then it's basically a judge, a built-in judge. Um, but you do have to evolve it. So I think Marsh Shadow was banned because like you could do it like any like once per turn or something. <laughs> Uh, but you do have to evolve it. Um, I mean, this this guy could be it could be same plan. I don't know. Who knows? Um, wait, did I just go over Articuno? Did I wait? Did I? Oh, I'm going. I'm going back. Right. Okay. All right, Dragon Pokemon. A hey, Dragon Pokemon coming back, bro. Let's go. Uh, search your deck for a supporter card. Reveal it. You put it on the top card of it. Okay, so you'd have to like Oranger this or whatever. Uh, probably not good. I mean, like that's like a free boss, though, right? That's basically a free boss, bro. What's up with the, with these claws, though? I don't like that. Is that on every card, bro? I don't like that. I don't like that. It, why is there like a thing in the middle of it? Like, why? Why is it only on Drag Pokemon and like not on anything else? I I don't really like it, man. I think there was like um, Seeker Rares from like Black and White that had like a stamp in like the center of it. I'm not sure. 
Um, but I don't really like the look of these Dragon Pokemon. No retreat on this guy as well. <coughs> uh, but yeah, bro, all these Dragon Pokemon have no weakness, man. Bro, that, oh, this, this Noivern has nothing, man. No weakness, man. That is kind of ridiculous. Um, we got Salman's. Okay, so... Oh, you may have your opponents, which... Okay, so they have to choose. Wait, was, was the other dude... You choose? I forgot. What was I looking at? Um... Okay, so I think you switch it with Umbreon, and then on Salamence they switch it. So that's that's not good. Yeah, Salamence, pretty pretty dog man, not not great. Cross of V, talked about card in the set. Discard the top two cards of your deck, one energy, not that great. Um, discard up to two basic energy or two basic energy from this Pokemon, or two, two fire, two lightning, eighty more. This is kind of like for Quaza GX, right? For kind of the same concept, or like kind of the same concept of um. Uh, Rashram and Zekrom tag team. So, what this does like one one eighty for two energy. If I'm reading that right, I'm not that great. But requires a V max. So once during your turn, you can discard your hand and draw three cards. I mean, that is pretty good. Not gonna lie, that is pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah, like that. I mean, that's just like drawing three more cards. You know, thinning out your deck not too bad especially if you uh i don't know got like a bad hand uh but max okay so the, oh wait is this like is this the same attack wait, is that the same attack 20 plus attack does 80 more damage for eight. so oh wait oh okay so oh this is like this is like a cap though right okay so that's a cap this is you could do like pretty much infinite any amount okay okay any amount of basic energy but it, it can't be it says or so it, it's either got to be all all uh, fire or all lightning, which kind of things kind of makes things more awkward, um, for sure. Um, I, I've I've heard people talk a lot of hype about this, but it doesn't even seem that OP. I mean, because you need both. I mean, fire and lightning. I know there's there's a require or like a this is rapid strike. So there's there's you know there's um. Zero Aura and Blaziken, those are Rapid Strike, I think. So, I mean, this deck, I mean, it, you know, it's got the same energy. There's not too many, like, double energy, you know, decks, but this this could actually be maybe included into that deck. Who knows? But it has to be on this Pokemon, not, like, any other Pokemon. So, who knows? Could be good. Probably will be. Uh, I'm telling you, going to be... Uh, not, probably not that good. For each prize card, your Pokemon. Okay, so that could do like 320 damage of uh, 320 damage possibly. Stage two. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any like double dragon potential though. On these um, you know, in expand on, on these Pokemon so far. I mean, maybe for this guy, but I mean, you're basically like asking to die, so probably not. It's quite any uh, amount of water energy from your Pokemon. Um, that's such awkward like energy but i mean all these dragons have like a bunch of like weird energy uh but that's two water one steel yeah probably not good noivern v 20 damage each each your opponent's pokemon synchro loud if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent uh, opponent this attack does 120 more damage um it's actually kind of interesting and expand you could like um double dragon energy that's all you need and it, it could okay so possibly 180 damage for one double dragon energy but You'd have to have a lot. Like, what if your what if your opponent has like a huge hand? You know, you can you could thin your hand, right? But you can't really get more cards. I mean, you can. You'd have to like. I I I feel like this guy could have expand potential. I feel like I could like make a deck out of this guy, for sure. But does that have a V, v max? Do I ever V max? I guess not. Okay. Zygarde. Okay. Not much from that. 50 damage for each opponent's Pokemon and play that as ability. Stage one, not that great. Each special energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. It's not really, that, there's not really a bunch of like good special energy in uh in standard though. Not really. You know, weakness guard energy is gonna 
be gone um wait wait what is what is weak to wait is there anything that's gonna be weak to dragon in uh in center i guess not so i guess i guess no weakness no nothing there nothing that's weak to i i guess that makes sense not weak to fairy or i mean there's no fairy but i guess that actually makes sense um all right what what, what was i on appleton Durla Donvi, what the hell is that art? Okay, so 70 it's kinda weird that this guy's a dragon Pokemon. Um Metal Claw, 70 damage, not too great. Yeah, not, nothing interesting from that. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon um that have special energy attached. Uh, again, there's just not that many. There's not I mean there's rapid, you know, rapid single strike, but other than that, there's not too much. There's capture. There's just not a lot of like good special energy in standard. <laughs> but Again, you need like a bunch of different energy, which just makes these these uh, dragon Pokemon really awkward to play because uh, you need like you need like double typing. I get, I get wait wait wouldn't it rapid strike work? Is that or is that only like fighting or water? But this is single strike, so kind of two hundred forty minus. Uh, okay, so still more Pokemon to kill, man. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Search your deck for up to three Pokemon V, put them in your hand. Okay, so you put them in your hand, again, like Marnie's, but... I guess you don't even need to evolve into EV, so... Kind of pointless to play this guy, right? Um, okay, another Smurgle. Um, reveal any amount of basic energy. Okay, I actually, I actually did see this. I actually... This has... Uh, all, I, I don't know. It's just not a lot of damage, though. If it was more damage, I could see it being played in expanded. Um, but like for each type of basic energy, like let's say you get like five each. I mean that does one eighty, but I mean like superior energy retrievals would be so easy with this deck, like Viridian, Viridian or like yeah Viridian Forest or something, or like Trainer's Court or whatever it's called. It has it has expanded potential. Not a lot of damage, but you know, one one only one energy, one double colors, one twin. I, I I'll probably make this pan tech for using this guy, honestly. Um it's cool looking art. What was that? Okay. If stay is play, oh great great ability, Slay King. This guy always has great abilities. Um Supporter card. Nothing insane. Wait, is that? Oh wait. Oh you wait. Your opponent's act. Oh no. It yeah, it has to be that. <laughs> it has to be the act. Like, what's the point of that, bro? It has to be the active spot, which means it has to. It you know stout. You know your active Pokemon is up against stout, and like, if it was on the bench, then that'd be kind of cool. Nah. <laughs> um, bro, I got it, bro. I this is a long ass video, man. Draw a card. If you go second into first turn, draw three more cards. It's not bad, I guess. Um, fire. Not that great. Not that great. All right. So that's all the Pokemon. All right. Now onto the trainers. Maybe I should do the trainers first. But um, try to cards. Uh, yeah. Nothing. Nothing great about that. Okay. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one your Pokemon. Put on that Pokemon to evolve it, and then shuffle your deck. And you can, okay, so you can use it on your first turn. So you can basically, it's like a Wally. -E. It's like a Wally, -E, but your turn ends, but it's an item card. So, like, first turn, this could be really good on your first turn. I mean, like, any other turn, like, your turn has to end to use it. So, you'd have to find these on your first turn, which is kind of the issue. Um, it could definitely work in Expanded, though. Definitely work in Expanded for, like, uh, item lock. Um... You know, Trevnot, um, item lock deck, you could do that. Easy first turn. Um, but it, like, you have to find it. That, that, that's the issue, man. I mean, there, there's, there's one of those, there's a lot of, like, things in this set that, like, make you end your turn. I'm noticing that with, like, the other, there's a whole bunch, but, like, that other one, one was, like, uh, search your deck for an item card and end your turn. I mean, 
if it didn't end your turn and it just searched for an item card then that would work great with this but yeah it's just like if it if it's if it's in your hand on your first turn it's great but if it if it if it's not then it sucks so shuffle your hand in your deck then draw a card um i mean probably not that great i don't know crystal cave okay so your player may heal 30 damage for each your opponent's a metal or dragon so this is one this is like the like the water and lightning in expanded but i mean like just 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 say that this card is meant for adp man like come on like just <laughs> like it's metal and dragon i mean that's just screaming adp bro um i mean could this be played in expanded instead of chaotic spell i think so i mean like chaotic spell is like you know is, is that kind of card where you don't really have like a chosen stadium and you just want to like block out other stadiums you know why not um but Crystal Cave is that is a stand that actually helps ADP. You know, with eight, you know whether it's healing ADP or Zassin, you may as well play. I, I wonder if people are going to start switching this. I mean, I will. It's better than Swell. I mean, who cares about Swell? Swell is good, but I mean, it's only thirty damage, so I don't know. It could be good, maybe not. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Oh, uh, we got Digging Gloves, so. Uh, does 30 more damage to your opponent's active fighting Pokemon? Yeah, that's not good. You don't you don't want to like prep for only like one Pokemon. Uh, so this is gonna see no play at all. Uh, I mean, I mean, at least like I mean, Urshifu's it could be good against. I don't know, Dream Ball. Okay, so it's one of these cards where you have to take it as a face down prize card. Uh, so you check for a Pokemon put it on your bench. So basically, do that right after you took a, after you took this as a prize. Yeah, not good, not good at all. Because um, if it's not in your prize, then it's useless. It's entirely useless. Uh, we got elemental badge. Attacks cost one less. I mean, uh, maybe I don't, you might you might as well if you if you're making a deck around like these V maxes. I assume it works for V max. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not actually. Full face guard. Um, so no abilities takes twenty less. I mean, I mean, not, it's not really that good, you know. Um, Jordy, Gordy, like the top seven cards. Put them in your hand. Okay, so it's top seven. Okay, so any energy cards, which I mean, maybe that'd be good for that Smurgle and expand. Def definitely want to play this in 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 uh, expanded, but maybe maybe your first standard. Lucky Ice Pop. Um, heal. Put in your head. Put heads. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Heal twenty damage from the active. And if you healed any damage, flip a coin. If heads, put it back in your hand instead of the discard pile. So what if you've like gone like an endless chain of, of hitting these over and over again? That'd be pretty funny. Maybe get like a Victini on the bench. That's kind of cool actually, but it's only twenty. It's only twenty. Moon and Sled Badge. Um. Play it so when you're playing. So basically, that means you can't boss out um, a Umbreon or Espeon. I think that's what I'm getting from this this card. Um, I mean, I guess if you're playing Umbreon Espeon, you might as well put it in your deck in standard. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. So okay, so this is kind of like Rosa, where it has to be one of your Pokemon has to be knocked out, like teammates. Attach the basic energy from the discard pile. And then search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. So you could search for any card and then plus attach, attaching energy. That's not good. That, I mean, no, no, that's actually not bad at all. But you, your point has to be knocked out. So I could definitely see this be playing in in and in, um, in, uh, you know one one prize card Pokemon decks. Maybe like this is the new. Does anyone even play this right anymore? But this could be the like the new this is why I guess I don't know. I mean, Mad Party. I, Probably not, but it'd, be, it'd be, definitely be good in like a single price card deck. Yeah, probably not, not definitely not mad probably because of basic energy. Uh, Scroll the Flying Dragon. Uh, not good, not good, not good. Uh, oh yeah, put two, oh yeah, I actually did see this. Put two Pokemon with 90 HP or less from the discard pile in your hand. So basically, I guess, I mean, it would even work with mad party? Not really. I mean, we're using Bunnelbees, I guess. I mean, like... Could be good. I mean, it's it's basically like a rescue stretcher, but you get two instead of one, and they go right in your hand. So, 
You, yeah, you'd only play this if you're playing like really low HP Pokemon. Maybe like Flinx. Does Flinx have like less than 90? I don't know. I don't know. Um. Okay, so this is for Sylveon. That's that. I mean, if you're playing Sylveon, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. If you're playing Sylveon, that is really good. But what does Sylveon do, do again? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't do all. <laughs> it does not do a whole bunch of damage, man. Um, they're really trying to balance. Like, if it was played like with like a really good ability or something, that that'd be pretty cool. But I mean, it's definitely not played in expanded because of life too, obviously. But yeah, this should, you'd have to have a lot. Of, it, yeah, it, it Sylveon's probably not gonna be played in standard at all. Got rubber gloves. So yeah, points active lightning Pokemon again. These are not. These are gonna be really bad. Shopping center. Stadium. They're gonna put a Pokemon tool attached when their Pokemon in their hand. Like, I feel like, what's the point, man? I mean, I guess. I guess. Yeah. I mean, the only scenario would be if like your opponent bosses out of Pokemon and you have to like retreat again. You can like switch basically the tools to retreat, but yeah, probably not that good. Not seeing a lot of playable trainers actually so far in the set. Uh, 300 damage. <laughs> Discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay, um, but like look at the different types of energy and you have to discard all of it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about that. I do not know about that, dude. Snow Leaf Badge, so we got Glass, Glacian, Leafeon. No true cost, no weakness. Um, again, if you're playing, then you could put it in your deck, but it's, it's like not even that good though. But uh, you, uh, it's no weakness. No weakness. It's actually not bad. Actually not bad. Strip Mask. Um, okay, so basically, if they if they damage you or knock you out, your opponent discards a card from their hand. Kind, kind of cool. Probably not that good. Okay, um, this is actually pretty good. Um, each once during your uh, each player's turn, uh, you can search for basic lightning or dragon Pokemon put on your bench. Not not too bad. There's there's been a lot of you know similar stadiums or you know similar stadiums uh, like this one. So if you're playing Lightning or Dragon, then it's definitely pretty good. Uh, switching Cups. Card from your hand. Bro, that, that's basically just a rank. <laughs> that's basically just a rank room, man. Um, yeah, th th this is awful. I mean, that, that's just a rank room, man. Uh, you don't have to play a card with a rank room. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has 50 HP or less remaining. Switch one of... Yeah, okay, so you, you, so basically you could like switch like a mad part here. Uh, probably, probably not, probably not that good. Probably not that good. Zinnia's Resolve. Draw a card, card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Uh, what, that's max of six? And you have to discard two cards from your hand. Yeah, <laughs> nah, man. Bro, these trainers suck, man, honestly. Holy crap. Um, again, like a face card, face down prize card. That's just not good. Um,. Man, there, there's a lot of bad, there's a lot of bad, really bad trainers in this set. Holy crap! Um, I don't even know which ones are the good, good other, other best ones. I, I really don't know. They, they all seem like trash, man. I mean, I guess this seems, this, this seems good, maybe. Um, what that uh, boo shake, possibly again, it's like really situational. Um, I, I guess, I guess like some of the. Some of these are decent, but other than that, all the trainers kind of suck. Um, so I, I yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just uh, we'll just, let's we'll just, just look at the, let's just enjoy the flirts, man. Um, flirts and alternative arts, yeah. There's, there's, bro, look at how many, man. <laughs> look at how many arts, bro. This is just like every time I'm gonna open a pack, this is just de decreasing their chance. I get like something as like a, you know you know another secret i want so this is probably to make um like some really good alternate parts like really pricey dude because there's just so many that you could get that that's a cool art man that is really cool art yeah alternate arts are really cool man screw the full arts man no one cares about those no one cares about those they all look the same glacian not too bad 
Espeon, bro, all these look so cool, man. Holy crap. Golurk, oh man. Sick. These would be really cool to like pull from a like a you know in real life pack. Sylvian, oh my god, dude. Uh, that, that that's kind of dead though. I mean that, that's kind of cool. That's kind of dead though. Dash. <laughs> uh, Umbreon, that looks bro. I feel like he's like looking down at uh, that's a Grimmsnarl or something. Pinsir, that's actually really cool. Dragonite, ah, oh, that, that's kind of dead. I mean, they're 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 good, but um, that's kind of that's kind of not as good. Uh, Burquaza, now that's like we got like what is that Zinnia trainer? That looks pretty sick. Noivern Pro, holy crap, man, <laughs> that is that is like intense, man. Yeah, that's like a card that you're gonna get nightmares. Like it's like Batman, like flying down from like a build like what the hell <laughs> what the hell man that that's a pretty cool looking card man i swear to god i'm gonna play this guy expanded i'm gonna play a full set of the of the you know four arts uh of, of these arts man that, that's gonna be cool uh drill of dawn and i mean i feel like that it, it puts too much emphasis on on the on the person dude like, like you gotta make it smaller like you know like the other yeah you, you gotta you gotta make the dudes uh the person, you know, smaller. Yeah, like that's just like too big. Uh, Aroma later, Aroma lady, cool copycat. I see. I, I I get that. You know, the copycats, Marnie. Was that Leon and then Rosa? Interesting. Gordy. Okay. But like the like none of these none of these guys are good. I mean, will copycat be played? I don't know. It just depends on what your opponent is doing. Um, cool full art. The, the, I, I think this is like the most supportive that could be played. We'll see. Zinnia's resolve not good at all. All right, so that's all. The, that's like pretty much all the. Okay, so now going into what the V Max is. Uh, we're just gonna skip the rainbows. We got Leafeon. That's pretty. <laughs> Bro, Leafeon looks huge, man. Holy crap, Leafeon looks like an absolute unit right there. On a field, oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, Glacian, I, I, I like that man. All, all the different Pokemon, that is very cool. Umbreon, that's a bro. All these arts are sick looking, man. Like they, they, they like they stepped up their game. I mean, like Chill and Rain arts were were cool. Like the Ice Rider, like the you know the writers, but all these are like really. There's not like a bad art. It's insane. We got Rayquaza, which I mean is cool. Uh, could be better. <laughs> oh no, it's pretty cool though. I feel like it requires like it's like too small though, and these are it, it needs to be bigger. Um, and we got Duraludon. Not a, not a fan of that one. Not a fan of that one. All right, so finally onto the gold cards, Frostlass. <coughs> um, so wait, did I did I look at this? Oh wait, was it from a previous? It must have been from a previous set. Yeah, some of these secret rares are. I think most of them are from previous sets, so you may attach a uh, water energy. I mean, because you have to evolve it. It's not good. I mean, I guess the plan was like you'd use this for like Ice Rider, but we got Melanie for that, so not good. This this, this secret rare is gonna be worth nothing. Now this secret rare, now this, now this secret rare is gonna be maybe maybe one of the most expensive cards in the set. Maybe one of those most because like everyone is playing this card in center right now everyone is playing it i like i think this will be the most i i, I should probably i should probably look at the other ones first but this is going to be ridiculously priced because like already like the normal version of this card is like three packs like just imagine how much this gold card and it's gonna be so rare because like you have the chance of pulling any other card and you pulled in Telion. this card is going to be so expensive man it's insane but again, like it's a really good ability, and uh, you know with the drizzle as well, two damage counters that is insane. Cresselia, I think is, is really good as well. I, I I thought it had more. I, I'm not really paying attention to center, but I I don't see it being played too much. But it is really good if you go second. But that's if you go second, and plus you're not going to be able to like denen or anything. So I mean, it's still like a really good attack for sure. Um, it'll probably be, probably be worth a bit, decent amount. Boost Shake. Again, I don't really know what to expect from this card because you need to use it first turn, or else it's just useless. 
Um, but it could be worth a little bit. Crystal Cave. Oh, that's actually a really cool art, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be playing this maybe in my ADP decks. We'll see. Uh, full face guard. Yeah, I mean, that's just not that good. Definitely not going to in expand in. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. so yeah, you, I mean, you can play with like Rayquaza and Max. Like, this is probably going to be good. I don't know how good it will be in center, but it's probably going to be expensive. Uh, Stormy Mountain again. This is this is this is really good for those 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 uh those types. Matt, you could like everything is like dragons, so you could like play Crystal Cave and Storm. Oh no, they're both the <laughs> no, they're both stamps. Duh, duh, man. So you could like choose whether. Uh, which probably Stormy Mountains is the best option because, like, I mean, like 30 damage is nice. I don't know. Uh, Toy Catcher. I don't really know if this will be good. Maybe not. I got Tur Oh, whoa! I I, I didn't realize Turfield Turfield Stadium was in here. This was from a, what, like Vivid Voltage? Maybe I I don't know. Dark Displays, I think actually. But uh, I mean, this is good. Pretty much only like or Beetle V Max decks, but. That, that's really cool, man. I mean, I, I'm going to be getting some of these secret rares uh, for my expanded deck. And then on to the secret rare energy. So we got lightning energy, darkness energy, metal, darkness. I mean, this has been like the most expensive energy for a very long time. Uh, but again, like just the arts, like people are spending more like the sun and moon energies uh, are just more expensive in general because they look better. They're They're hard to get more rare. But these, I, I'm, I, I'm still hyped if, if I pull one of these, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I, that's what that was like, almost an hour of talking, man. Oh my god, bro. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, I, that's pretty much all my thoughts on this set. I mean, I'm, I'm super hyped. I just don't think that um, there's a lot of good trainers. I don't even think there's like a lot of good Pokemon either. I think this is overall. And like you know, ranking the sword and shield sets, I don't think this will be definitely not the top. I think chill and rain is way better, way better than this. Doesn't even compare. Um, sword and shield is better as well, I think. And then, um, yeah, I just uh, yeah, overall, like yeah, it, it's not going to be as good as chill and rain. It just doesn't have like the. Po I mean, like collectors. It's a, it's a good collector set. It, it is a very good collector set, but for playability wise, it's not as good as, you know, Chill and Rain, you know, the previous set. But yeah, for collecting, it's going to be really hype. Um, again, I, I'm going to predict Intellion, maybe. Is there like any other VMAX alternative that I think will be good? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, it's hard to tell which which will be good. I'm Rayquaza, like, it, its ability is really good. I don't know if people are going to be playing it just for its ability or if they're actually going to attack on it. I have no idea. But it does have a good ability and attack, you know, if you're playing that Blaziken or what I was talking about. Um, so th this could, I, I think these two will be the top cards of the set. Intellion is, is, trust me, it's going to be ridiculously priced. Of course, the special energies will always be really good as well. But yeah, I think that's, that, that's everything. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. Um, yeah, if you stay through the whole thing, then uh, props to you, man. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy watching, make sure you guys leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. That's it, guys. All right, peace out.